The following episode contains strong language, divorce themes, and Nickelback references. Well, production of Top End Weddings commenced, so now our duties have expanded to include on-set location management. Hey, Morgs, how many friends you got on Facebook? I don't know, 3,000 and something? I don't use Facebook much. Oh, me either, just see when famous people die in there. Chad Kroger from Nickelback has had a massive impact on my life. I can't wait till he dies, so I'll be the first to say, fail, Chad Kroger. Facebook's for old people. I mainly use WeChat, Snapchat, WhatsApp, Tinder, Twitter, Insta. What's the fucking point? It's become really clear to me that the source of Steve's grumpiness is loneliness and I'm going to do something about it. We're like the first to set every morning at like 4 a.m. 4 a.m. is crayfish. Best time of day, I reckon. The only time I'm ever awake at 4 a.m. is when I'm holding my shoes and feeling sorry for myself while those gross morning people jog past. Ah, yeah, but your life's a mess. 4 a.m. is Cray's Anatomy, it's Macy Cray, it's Crazy and Beyonce Cray on stage at Craychella in the United States of Cray, America. So I caught up with Uncle Wayne the other night for dinner. Why well, wasn't I invited? Because you were too busy throwing rocks at a tree. Oh yeah, so I was. But he looked at the location scouts photos and he actually really liked them, but he mentioned that maybe they could have a bit more fun, character, personality. Really? That's a big guy. You can't say that. Oh my God, he's a dinosaur. He's a Grumposaurus Rex. So it's not enough anymore to shoot full frame HD color graded pics? No, now they've got to have fucking character. What if you were to jump in? No, nah, no way. Ah, oh, come on. Uncle Wayne specifically asked. Smile. Hey, climb that tree. <laughs> Do the Lion King. Ah, it's so cute. Hey, hug that saltwater crocodile. Shit! <laughs> Do a bong. <laughs> Everyone's been passing around Steve's location photos, and oh my god, they're really cute. Hey, you. G'day. Top spot, this. Bit fancy for me. Yeah. Um, I'm Faye, but my mates call me Razor Phaser. Oh, um, Steve, pleasure to meet you. Mates call me the bear. I can't believe she just hit me up at the bar. Yeah, that was to me. So every time I check the lotto, I reckon the news agent's trying to stitch me up because he says I doesn't win. So I so just... he can keep the squid in his for himself. Exactly. Okay. Should we lay into a feed then? Yeah. Why don't we head out to Sam's, grab a maggot bag and a bit of dead horse? She doesn't seem like the kind of woman that'd steal your chicken skin. Yeah. Faye and I seem to have a lot of things in common. So then we got the divorce, the lawyers, oh shebang. No, divorce is a messy business. Oh yeah, tell me about it. After my third divorce, the bludging dickhead said he wanted half of everything that I'd earned from my first two marriages. No way. And so I fired up the chainsaw and I cut everything in half. I mean, everything. <laughs> By the time the cops got there, I was chasing a rottweiler around the backyard. Lucky Roddy. <laughs> this is pretty weird, isn't it? You know, I, I, I mean, well, it's, it's very different for me. Well, what do you mean, not, not having a mate by? No. No, Tinder. I can't believe you'd stitch me up like that. What's wrong with you? It was going great. She probably thinks I'm some sort of dirty old perv who stalks women on the internet. No, she doesn't. You're crazy. Oh, Jesus Christ. This is just a right royal stitch up. Let the whole fucking crew laughing their heads off at me right now, aren't they? No, for once they actually think you look happy. Get off the flack, I don't look happy. I look like some sort of old loser. Read the profile I wrote you. Hi, I'm Steve. I work hard and love traveling and photography. I'm a humble person and even though I'm great at everything I do, I'd never claim it. 
From the outside, I'm pretty tough guy who's great with his hands. Oh, that's true. But deep down, I guess you could say that I'm sensitive and just want to be loved. <clears throat> sensitive? Steve. I sound like some sort of marshmallow. Steve, you're not a marshmallow. Thanks. Thank you. He's totally a marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs>